So hey everybody, this week I am with Krista Martin who is with Homebridge Financial Services. I'm putting the clicker here so that I don't <laughs> accidentally shut us off. But guys, this week um, Krista and I were talking about the do's and don'ts of when you're going to buy a home. And I obviously as a realtor have do's and don'ts for mm -hmm. the clients, but you have some really important do's and don'ts of what they can and cannot do while we're in the process of getting them completed and sold. So why don't you go through yeah. some of your do's and don'ts? Please? Absolutely, thanks Shelby for having me, I appreciate it. Um, so hey guys, just on a few notes with your income, assets, and credit, some do's and don'ts to keep in mind when you're working with your lender. Please don't shred any documentation while you're in process. Um, we may need to collect an extra pay stub, or another bank statement. I know most things are electronic, but there are some companies that still aren't fully electronic. Right. So super important on that. Um, as far as your credit goes, don't go and get new credit, do major purchases. Don't go ahead and buy you know, a new car, sign with co-sign for your grandchild. Kind Appliances, of yeah. any of that nature until the loans close because those purchases could affect what we call your debt to income ratio, mm -hmm. which and in turn may not be able to get the loan or you might have to end up getting gift funds or whatever the you know, thing may be. Um, so that could be a big thing. Um, bank accounts, big thing is don't for large deposits or transferring funds. You gotta make sure if you're doing any of that, make sure you check in with you know your lender because those are super important. We have to source everything large deposits, bank accounts with the transfers going in and out. Um, if it's a certain account we're utilizing, let's just make sure that one's good to go. Right. Make sure your cash to close is in there. If you wanna do with, with your other five accounts, feel free. Right. <laughs> so that's a main thing. Um, the other thing that's always a huge one is don't over, you can still use your credit cards as normal, but don't overuse them. Because what happens is, like I said, we do do um, a soft pull right. at the end towards closing the loan. So it's super important to make sure that your ratios are still working. So just kind of keep them the normal, still get your gas and groceries, things like that. But anything outside of that is okay. you want to check in with your lender. Um, some dues as you're going through the pre-approval process, definitely send all your documentation. Mm -hmm. um, the main purpose of that is to make sure that when the lenders were working through everything, your income, assets, everything we're going through is gonna, we're 99% sure when you're sending that approval over to Shelby that it's good to go, the client's ready. Um, so there shouldn't be any hiccups besides appraisal and title, right? right? Um, the other thing is staying at your current employer. <laughs> we do understand that there may be times where people might get offers and things like that, or you know, better pay or benefits or whatever it may be. Just check in before you decide to do that because sometimes switching from salary to hourly or vice versa, the rules can change depending on what product and we have to document everything. So your offer letter, no gaps, you know, if you're, as long as you're starting one, ending another, so just make sure that if you are deciding to do that, it has to make sense. And mm -hmm. you know, it can be really awkward going to your former employer saying, "Please hire me back. I need my job." Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so any changes as far as like I said, your bank account, your credit, or employment is super important to just, especially once you have the pre-approval, because like I said before, we will find out. Yep. Um, through even when you get under contract. Uh, we do a soft pull credit report and we do verify your employment also a few days before closing. So super important on that to keep everything consistent. So those are some really do's great do's and don'ts. And guys, Mortgage Mom here has been doing this for a really long time. I know that you've probably seen a lot of these don'ts that have um, been painful lessons learned. So Definitely. take take acknowledgement of these tips this week. And we hope you have a great week. Thanks, guys. Thank you.